Hello and welcome to the Hacker Rank Interview Preparation Kit series. Uh, previously, we have uh, covered all five questions from the arrays, and now we are starting with the warm up challenge. Uh, these challenges are fairly easy, and uh, we'll solve them and then move on to uh, dictionary and hash maps. So in this particular problem, uh, that is sock merchant, we have been given an array and the problem says that we have a pair of socks. So here one is different type of socks, two is of different type of socks, again one and uh, three is also different type of socks. For uh, simplification, you can uh, imagine this as they are of different colors and we need a uh, number of pairs which we can uh, wear or have. So in this particular question, uh, we can see that so uh, the number of socks given are seven, and and we need to find how many number of pairs of socks we can have. So in this case, uh, we have uh, three socks of type one. That is this one, this one, and this one. Then again, we have two uh, socks of type two and we have one socks of type 3 so we can have pair uh, from here so two socks make one pair and again from this two socks we can make another pair and hence uh, uh, and as so i wrote this mistakenly so from one we cannot make pair so the number of pairs of socks is two in this case so this is the uh, this is it and let's move on with the different example okay so this is the example mm. and they have given nine socks in this case and uh, there are uh, different types of socks so 10 20 10 30 so you can see in the explanation they have differentiated the socks here here and they want us to find the number of pairs so number of pairs means we need to have at least two socks in uh, any uh, like uh, or in any type so let's say if we have five socks then we will have uh, two pairs so we can divide the number of socks we have and we'll get the pairs so this is fairly easy question and when uh, when i started with hacker rank uh, solving pro uh, solving problems with hacker rank i uh, solved this particular problem in o of n square so what i basically did was uh, i iterated through loops so you can see the solution uh, i took array and created a uh, dynamically into heap uh, after that i took the input uh, after which uh, I took two for loops, one for uh, like first index and the second for the uh, first index onwards. So what I did was I compared all the elements and if they were similar, so I uh, increased the count and after if they were similar, I changed their value to minus uh, something so that we don't have to uh, take that particular element whenever uh, or I comes in. So this is fairly easy problem. and. It could uh, like I solved it in O of n square time. However, uh, as we are uh, like coming back to the series and this particular question uh, is in the series, I would be revisiting it. And this time I would be solving this particular problem in O of n, n time. So first I was thinking of solving this particular problem in a uh, hash map or uh, map using map. However, uh, after checking the constraints, you can see that this particular problem uh, only have like uh, 100 uh, elements in our array or in our map. So map would be overkill for this particular problem. So we'll uh, solve this particular problem with the frequency array, uh, which we can uh, use in the counting uh, sort. So we can, we will create a frequency array. And in that uh, particular frequency array, we'll store the values let's say for 10 so our frequency array will range from 0 to 100 and for every value which is present let's say this is 10 so at 10th index we will increment the value so whenever our uh, array uh, our elements appear uh, we will increment their value so let's say uh, again 20 pops up so at index 20 in our array we will increment 1 similarly again 20 pops up so Again, we will increment the uh, value at index 20 to 2. Uh, so again, there are two tens. So let's increment tens. This will become 3. 
then there is 30 50 so they these are standalone uh, numbers and indexes so it will be 1 1 again there is 10 and 20 so it will become 4 and this will become 3 okay so uh, uh, that, that's it and let's assume this is as a complete array from 0 to 100 there is no space where I can write 0 to 100 in on the screen so after this we can sense that there are elements which are present in 10 20 30 so what we can have is another for loop and for simplification we'll divide all the elements that are present in array by 2 so that will result into giving us pair so let's say we divide all the elements by 2 so uh, in the start uh, we will initialize all the values to the 0 so the values where element is not present or for which our uh, given array there was no value so 0 divided by 0 it remains 0 however where there are values let's say uh, we got 4 values for 10 so we will divide uh, this particular value sorry let me clear this okay so we'll divide this by 2 so the resultant will be 2 and in this case when we uh, divide 3 by 2 so in integer division we know that we always get a floor value so this will become a 1 and uh, for 1 by 2 we will uh, get floor value that is 0 again 0 so the resultant values would be 0 and 0 again so if you find uh, need to find out the sum of pairs we'll uh, basically uh, Add, uh, add all the values which are pre present in the frequency array and that will be our answer so in this case we have three values so i'll write a code for this so stay tuned okay let me clear this okay let's start with our uh, library files so this will be index for uh, standard library file it will contain all the remaining standard library files using namespace std int main will return zero so this is basic skeletal after that uh, we'll take int that is number of size of array after that we'll take a frequency array and we'll uh, fix its size to 100 because it's in constant we have a uh, fixed size array so we'll initialize the value to the zero after this we'll take input for let's say n and after that uh, we'll take a for loop for int i is equal to zero to i is less than n i plus plus will be taking values for our frequency array so we'll declare another variable let's say int input and then uh, we'll take value input in our array and this value will be stored in our frequency array so let me do that so we can do frequency input and plus plus so this will be uh, initialized in our frequency array so okay, that's it so we have taken our values into the frequency array for simplification i'll write two loops let's say for i int i is equal to zero then i is less than i would be less uh, doing less than 100 because our max array size is 100 and if we like by mistake do i is less than that of n so n is the value of number of values so uh, that would only result into uh, uh, the values because let's say here n is uh, 9 so we would be looping from i is equal to 0 to 9 where the values are from 10 to 20 so those particular values won't be contained in uh, if we write i is less than n so we'll write i is less than that of 100 and after this uh, we can do is we'll uh, take our array and divide it by 2 okay this is a next step and for the next step we can basically copy paste this thing and just say sum is equal to all the values that are in the array so i haven't initialized sum as of now so let me do that okay 
and some so there are no test cases so we won't be writing one so i think this is good so let me copy this return zero so we need to write c out statement let me check if i done anything wrong yeah, okay so let's check if we are missing something compilation error let me check okay sorry i misspelled it it's stdc okay test is fail okay so there there is a possibility i think uh one can have value 100 however array is limited from 0 to 100 so what we can do is let's uh, create array of size 101 and then uh, take all the values uh, so if even if there is a value which is 100 so that will uh, be present and will equalize to there so okay, let's check if this works or if it's not i'll unlock the test case yeah okay so that was it so please uh, make sure that you are taking a boundary condition in uh, like uh, while uh, like in mind while writing the code and thank you for watching and if, if you think there is chance for me to improve uh, anything in this particular code or in the series do let me know and do watch uh, for the uh, remaining videos in the series thank you have a great rest of the day